tallest iceberg I've seen has been like 100 meters. It has these huge high pinnacles, and so they're like, really are like mountains floating in the ocean. And we do feel their scale, the sense of the kind of the, the majesty of them. When people first see an iceberg, they're amazed at it, and they actually react very strongly to it, emotionally to it. It started back there. An iceberg is a fragment of uh, usually a glacial ice sheet. In our waters here, they mostly come from Western Greenland. It's glaciers that go into the ocean and break off, and then over time evolve from gigantic kind of ice islands into the small bergy bits that you might see on the beach. Our interest in studying icebergs ties to the climate question, the there are more icebergs about, what are the icebergs doing to the ocean, where we're trying to understand what happens to icebergs, how they melt, how they drift, and how that influences the ocean and the ocean circulation of the Northwest Atlantic. By releasing more icebergs, that increases the hazard to shipping and other operations. And because of increased temperatures at high latitudes, the decline of Arctic sea ice, there's more shipping in the Arctic, there's more activity, there's more economic development. So humans are potentially bumping into icebergs more frequently simply because we have more humans in the Arctic doing things and more icebergs being released. Thank you, icebergs. The iceberg have changed here locally in terms of what people have seen coming by. The icebergs have become more the, the table type iceberg, fragments of uh, ice islands. The goal of the project is actually to get a more accurate estimate of that size, but also get more of the geometrical dimensions, so the shape, what does it really look like, and how would the currents affect that. So we need to make repeated measurements of a group of individual icebergs over a period of time to watch them melt and watch them move. So the idea is to have an unmanned platform that can stick to the iceberg and do repeated surveys of the same iceberg while we track it. The surface craft, Sea Dragon, moves around the iceberg and makes measurements above and below water. We call it actually the mothership because it, it represents the interface between the atmosphere and the ocean. So we would go out, deploy Sea Dragon, it would move around the iceberg a few times to repeat its measurements a little bit. We're doing that right now from this robot with LiDAR and radar together with images and we're basically having some automated processes that stitches these images together and gives you a reasonably good estimate of the above water shape and size. Underwater you're relying most of the time on acoustics, on sound, and so we're measuring the shape using a multi-beam sonar in our case. So we're driving the surface vehicle around, looking at the iceberg and generating the map of the iceberg below. Which side do you want to deploy the sea dragon? The other side. Uh, the other side? I'll go around the outside. If that's not sufficient, because the iceberg might be deeper than what we see with a sonar, we also have an underwater vehicle, the underwater glider. The idea is to map the rest of the iceberg that might not be visible from a surface craft like the sea dragon. Do you have the GPS coordinate? Okay, we see the glider. And it can go around an iceberg, spiral around, and also use a scanning sonar system. So we don't just get how deep the iceberg is, but what the shape of the iceberg is. And the third vehicle that we use is an aerial drone that measures from above now the shape of the iceberg using camera systems. If you have a really tall iceberg, you cannot see it from the top. Right? So an aerial drone is something you might actually want to deploy to do that, to complete the picture. This is a new technology that we have here, the Sea Dragon with all its other elements, the drone above water and the underwater vehicle below it to do the mapping of the iceberg in all dimensions. Nobody else is doing this. Nobody else, A, has this surface craft or has this kind of technology. In terms of uh, operating Sea Dragon management protocol, were we close enough to the yeah. iceberg? Yeah. 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 We 
<laughs> you were within a three measuring stick. <laughs> right. We've made the right measurements now, and what we need to do is keep repeating those measurements over a series of icebergs. So this is the, the first step in that chain leading to being able to address the question of what's going on in the ocean and are there more icebergs? Are there bigger icebergs in Newfoundland? We really need to be able to make these measurements to build the descriptions of what's happening to icebergs to address that broader question.